Um, so one of the first elephants, I just want to have a quick quick chat about, and uh, I'd never heard of it until I actually came to Australia 20 odd years ago. And um, we'd been in central Queensland for a couple of weeks, and my son came back from school one day and announced to me, he said, um, he said, Dad, you know, uh, Australia never had hard hoofed animals, and they're bad. And I had to kind of think through it and think, well, OK, um, you yeah. know, and uh, I thought for a moment and I, I could envisage all those um, pathways under the fence that I saw from the kangaroos, um, bear eroding pathways under the fence ways where they always go through. And again, kind of thinking, well, hold on, you know, um, that's certainly non-native and they certainly don't have hard hooves. Um, and then it kind of uh, also took me back to, you know, we've all seen backyard chickens where uh, they've taken that environment and basically turned it into concrete. And again, certainly not hard hoofed animals. Um, and then we've all stood on the back door of a home somewhere and we've observed that um, bare eroding track from the back door to the hill's hoist. And once again, certainly are not created by, by hard hoofed animals. Um, I always like to say, unless you've got a forked tail. Um, so again, that that paradigm around you know, um, hard hoofed animals being bad for the environment, uh, it's not the hard hoofs at all, it's it's how they're managed and the time that's the component. Uh, I always take myself back to walking along the beach and uh, I'm afraid I'm a bit of a plodder on the beach. So when I look at my footprints on the beach, I just see compaction, compaction, compaction. And if I cast my eyes across the sand, I'll see the footprints of a, a jogger. And again, exactly the same foot structure, the same bones, the same muscle, well, maybe not the same muscles, but the same sort of muscles, and the same sinews, etc. Uh, virtually the same foot, certainly not hard hoofed, but a jogger has a very different impact on the beach. Uh, the big toe digs in, creates a bit of disturbance, breaks through any capping, um, makes a bit of a divot where water might sit for a bit longer, some seed might fall in there and germinate, some litter might be incorporated into the ground. So again, this paradigm that uh, you know, hard hoofed animals are bad is, is just that, it's a belief. And again, it limits a lot of people's ability to see the opportunities of change.